Well, if you're looking to volunteer this Thanksgiving, it might not be as easy as years past. First News reporter Carolyn Sistrand spoke with a few Valley organizations who are trying to still help as many people as possible while following COVID-19 procedures. Whether it's serving a hot meal or taking all the fixings to go, people across the Valley will still need help feeding their families this Thanksgiving. We're just trying to minimize the number of people kind of coming in the door. But for the organizations that feed those in need, the manpower may be an issue. We are we're having our cooks cook more meals um, and then serving. So it is kind of a, a, a little bit more of a, a heavy burden for them. Since the pandemic began, the rescue mission of the Mahoning Valley has stopped allowing volunteers inside and they will rely on only staff to serve up Thanksgiving favorites. This year, we're down to like maybe six or eight, and that's why you see the truck here, and uh, people work extra long hours, and it's just really tough. Over at the Gleaners Food Bank, there are still volunteers, but not as many. Don Nye with the Food Bank says that they're still accepting new volunteers. It's a little bit difficult. We usually like to have one volunteer per station, but now each volunteer is having to carry three or four different stations. The rescue mission will be serving a buffet on Thanksgiving to those who are staying inside the mission and will be distributing Thanksgiving boxes to those who aren't. Gleaners Food Bank is hosting a food distribution on November 21st at the Canfield Fairgrounds. Both organizations say food and money donations are always accepted. In Youngstown, Carolyn Sistrand, WKBN 27 First News.